Well, that's the organic stuff and the, the bushes and the trees and maybe there's a cascade of water coming through it. I don't know what that white <laughs> is. It could be uh, splashing water. And the blue is certainly a water color, color of water. And I thought, I'm not gonna paint anymore on this. So I didn't finish it, I just abandoned it. And when I went back to it, I looked at it and I said, I don't have to finish it. It's where I want it to be. This ribbon is what I call the surprise in the painting, the element that is vastly different from anything else in the picture and attracts your attention, but doesn't dominate the picture necessarily because it comes from behind things and it makes its loop and then goes off into space and drops out the bottom of the picture. So it doesn't dominate the picture, but it is an element that's quite different than anything else in the picture. But that's not a propeller, you know, it's just, it's sort of propeller-like. I could have called it flying down to Rio. <laughs> hey, feller, turn that old propeller. I like that painting, actually. It's got lots of pizzazz. It's a hot painting. It has presence. To me, it, it holds attention and gives you something to look at. Just one of those poetic statements about yeah, what yeah. I was seeing and feeling and responding to. Yeah, it was a tangled mess, but it was fun to look at. You know, a pile of junk is fun to look at. Go to a junkyard sometime and you'll see all <laughs> kinds of things that really bother you because you don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. It's called The Tidal Wave and it was inspired by a newspaper photograph of the wreckage of, of the Japanese coast. It's just, uh, it's meant to be kind of chaotic because that's what the tidal wave caused. So I think, um, you know, you could say that it was a poetic statement about a tidal wave and its aftermath, kind of destructive power that it had.